My last couple of videos were focused on the full review on the Canon C70 as well as my rig that I built, but I haven't touched on much on the audio. Audio was very difficult topic to me at first, especially when I just got this camera because there are so many different controls in here that you can go through, so many different buttons, so many different menus, and it's kind of like a different science in here. So I took my time and I broke down everything into pieces. I went down through every menu. I went through the manual. I went through other videos on YouTube and I couldn't find one especially explaining everything on the C70. So in this video, I will break down everything you need to know about audio and how do you record multiple channels of audio, multiple microphones, XLR, 3.5, built-in, all that good stuff. So let's go. So first of all, let's see what we are working with first. So we have two mini XLRs that you can have an adapter and you can have a regular XLR mic up here. So I'm using NTG4. We also have a 3.5 mic that you can attach or connect, let's say your regular 3.5 mic like Joby or any other mic. And you can also attach your lavalier mic. So in this case, I have Sennheiser and for the testing purposes of this video, I will be testing out the NTG4 and the Lav4 and also built-in mic. So in total, you can record four channels of audio. What does it mean? That means you can have two XLRs like this NTG4, you can have 3.5 and you can have built-in. Also, each microphone you can record into two different channels, which means you can have a safe track. So let's say if your first audio track is peaking, second one can be adjusted a little bit lower, so you can use that one as a backup. So let's check out the panel behind this camera right here. We have a couple of buttons here, they're hidden behind the LCD screen, if you open it up, you can see it right away. So what are we working here? We have channel one and channel two. Channel three and four is hidden in the menu, so we will get to that in a second. Channel one and two, you can set up to auto. So there is a switch here and manual. Auto, that's not this video. <laughs> um, you shouldn't be using auto if you have a cinema camera. Manual, just to explain why auto is bad, for example, if you have a person sitting right in front of the camera and you have another person way behind, um, auto will try to adjust for both and it will try to raise the levels for the person who is behind and that might bring all the extra noise and that's not what we want. We want our audio to be smooth and clean. So we want to set it up to manual on both. Then we have these three positions here, line, mic and mic 48 volt. What is that? When I first got the camera, I couldn't even figure out what the heck is that? Why is it 48? What's going on? How do you even record to this microphone or to internal? So the mic plus 48 is phantom powered mic, which means our XLR mics, they are using power from the camera. Now these mics like Joby or Lav, they are self powered. So they don't need power. So for example, this one, you need to power it and charge it with, via USB-C. Now Sennheiser, it has a AAA batteries that you always have to change. For the XLR, it's using the power from the battery. That's why it's phantom power plus 48 volts. So if you want to record to this microphone, you have to set it up to plus 48. So we have it at plus 48, channel one, NTG4. Now, here you have the levels. So this is how you adjust the levels of your channel one. In recent software update, Canon also added up a monitoring tools for channel three and four before you can only see one and two during the video recording. Um, but if you go to the menus, you could always see all four, like right here, which is nice, but you can't do it during recording. Now you can just have these four here that can be running all the time while you record. And that is very nice. So yeah, here's our channel one. And let's say if I change it, you want your audio ideally at minus 12. So if I raise it up here, you see what I'm talking, it says minus 10, minus 15, somewhere there. And let's say right now I have my second channel, second input set up the way that is recording audio from channel one, um, which is the XLR, and it's gonna record a safe track. So if I'm talking too loud, I can set this one up a tiny bit, a notch down, and it's gonna have a safe track in case I'm peaking, I'm talking too loud. It's gonna record it literally to two different tracks in Premiere, and you can use either one. Now, also when you're using your headphones to monitor, it's very nice because you can set up the way that in your left ear, it's gonna be channel one monitor, and your right ear is channel two, which is pretty cool. Now, let's actually get into um, the settings. How do you do this? And why should you do it one way or another? Okay, so we have cleared out this section here. If we want to mess with our settings, we go to audio status, we'll click here. 
And then we have two menus over here. So as I mentioned before, this is our monitoring. It's pretty much telling us that input one and two is right here. So XLR one and notch down two here. And mic L, mic R, this is our um, microphone in here. We should set it up actually to mic. And that is going to be recorded to our lavalier, which is connected to 3.5. And it also has two channels, but you don't set them up here, you set them up in the menus. We also have headphone volume here, and this is just for you to view. You can't really change much in here. To change your settings, you click set, and that is where you get to change your things. Now, one thing I forgot to mention, there is also a line here. Line is for channel for a mixed recorder. In this video, we will be using mic, which is gonna be lavalier. So in our settings, we have five different sections. Let's break it down on the first one. Audio input selection. Here you can set up your inputs. So channel one, channel two, it could be mic, input, built-in mic. That's also good for scratch audio. And what do we have? Input terminals, which is XLR, and built-in mic, and regular microphone. So let's leave it to input terminals, terminals. And then here you can set up your channel three and four. So that is what we monitor. We have one and two XLR and three and four mic terminal lavalier. If we do go back, we have channel two input and it says input one. What does this mean? This means if we want to record a safe track to channel two input, we will pick input one in here. And like I showed before, you can change your wheel here to adjust your levels for the input one audio for the channel two. It might sound confusing, but all you need to understand is if you want to have a safe track, you will use input one on the channel two. If you want just to record audio, two levels, two channels into one input to your XLR and TG4, for example, you will put input two to channel two. Man, this candle is strong. So let's leave it into input one. I actually like to have a chance to record my safe track. And here we leave separated. This means our tracks are separated, so we will have four different layers in Premiere. Now, let's switch to the second menu. This is pretty much our buttons, just like we have for channel one for channel two. This is where we change our settings for channel three and four. So this is pretty much our menu for the, lev for the lavalier mic. Since we have channel three and four as a microphone selected, here we can adjust our levels, just like with the wheels on the channel one and two. Same thing, we can adjust our levels here. You see what I'm doing? So pretty much our channel three and four, right now I am changing the channel three and my channel three goes down. You see what's happening? This is my lavalier, which is wireless right here. So I'm talking to it right now here and this is our channel three. So as soon as I put it down all the way down, it says zero, but then we want it at about minus 12 right there. And then again, channel four manual, let's say if I want a safe track of this, same thing. I'm just gonna have a little bit lower right there, right there for example, and you see what it is? Channel four is right below the channel three. If it's gonna be peaking, I can always use my channel four audio if I need to. So let's set it up like that. Um, that's it, here's our menu number three. Mic trimming, mic attenuator. In this menu, I don't do anything, I don't change anything. Um, attenuator, for example, means if there are big changes in audio, um, this is good to use, for example, when all of a sudden the fireworks are going on or the car is starting and you hear some loud sound. This will um, cut your audio and you might lose some frequency, but you're not gonna hear a big jump in audio. But I don't use anything in here. Now, same thing in here, attenuator. And on number five, these are just our regular menus to change headphone volume, set it up to whatever you want. Monitor channels, we already talked about that. And you can, also two, you can also choose two channels of audio that you can monitor on your HDMI. So one, two, or three, or four. So that's it. It's actually not that hard and it's, it's kind of simple. I honestly wanted to make this video to sum up everything I know about the audio. Maybe you guys know more and I would love to hear in the comments below. And as always, if you like this type of content and you are a good citizen, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to leave a like. And have fun, like I said, in the comments below. See you next time. Peace.